I got another little guy in to do e-car conditioning with them. When I get the little ones in, I like um, filming their the process of conditioning them with the e-car because you know it shows it. It's it's not that big of a deal with the dog. In fact, <clears throat> done correctly, it's probably the least averse of tool in a lot of ways. And uh, you know, it's a process of educating them about the meaning of stimulus. What it means? And we're trying to teach them that all right, that odd sensation on your neck. It just means come by me, <clears throat> okay? Uh, we're gonna use food in the beginning and we're gonna use two different modes on this. This is the PE 900. This is the only e-caller I use. Um, it's the only one that has the ramp mode function. So ramp mode, instead of, I only use continuous on these. Where you can hold the button down up to seven seconds, which I don't do, I just, I tap it. Like you would a nick, which is momentary. But um, <clears throat> uh, ramp mode, so say this was on 10, it's on three now. It would go from one to 10 over a period of a second. So what it does is it's a gradual kind of dip, 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 rather than like this jarring boom all at once. I think it's really good for the conditioning stage. Conditioning stage relies heavily on escape training too, which is like you're teaching the dog how to turn off pressure. So you're just inducing um, the stem automatically. And you're teaching the, as soon as he takes a step forward, you turn it off and then you mark a reward, okay? <clears throat> you're teaching him this is how you turn off that odd sensation, it's just coming by me, okay? Um, and I think it's really good for escape training, um, which gets a bad rap, as does negative reinforcement, but it's actually how you should, good choice, good boy. And it's how you should actually introduce pressure, right? You're educating them about the meaning of pressure, and then you can move on to avoidance training, which is positive punishment, basically correction for non-compliance, teaching them, you know, you can avoid a negative stimulus by not doing X. Start off with escape of wind training. That's how e call training starts. It's basically how it starts on leash too. So what I'm gonna do is a few different things. I'm gonna use ramp mode in the beginning trying to determine his working level. I got a three now. And when he gets distracted, looks away, whatever, I'm just gonna hit the button. Once he attends to me or moves toward me, I'll mark yes and reward. Um, after that, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna issue a command. Or I'm gonna hit the button, then issue a command. As soon as he moves forward toward me, I'll release the button, I'll mark yes, then reward. That's the escape training portion. For those two, I'm gonna use ramp mode. The second two, I'm gonna do I'm gonna be doing 180s. I'm gonna, once I have a better idea of his working level, and I'll just hit the button once or twice, whether he comes with me or not, but he probably won't. I'm gonna do a 180 in the other direction. I'm gonna mark with a reward. <clears throat> and I'm gonna do the same thing. Again, but I'm, this time I'll just bark back up and uh, I'll issue a command and I'll hit the button automatically again, but this time you're gonna hit it after. So I'll say come, up, 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 bark and reward, okay? I'll finish up, I'll hit the button, give him a treat. Hit the button, give him a treat, just like your clicker. Try to create a positive association with this, okay? You're gonna start at three, there are 100 levels for this, so it's, you know, we'll start at two, some little guys though. Right, ready? Watch him. Very important. Watch the dog's reaction. Critical. With any, any kind of training, you know, you know, read the dog. Always. Come here, you little freaky. I'm gonna get in trouble if I leave you alone too long. Alright. Here. Come here, guys. Oh, boy. Alright, that's a little bit. Alright.
worked my way up to six on ramp mode, which is a little bit lighter than regular. You've got a little, whoop, whoop, little head, almost a minor head jerk, so we'll turn it back down to four or five, okay? I'm holding it down for about a second. He went like this. Basically, the reaction you're looking for is kind of more like a plank. We don't want a lot of head jerking, obviously not a vocalization. Might make a mistake, not the end of the world. Keep going, okay? Um, but it's a good, good reaction out of him right there. Just like this. What was that, you know? And then we're trying to teach him with the food and the, and the ending of the, the sensation. You know, this is what that is. This is what that means. We're trying to create a fluency in the meaning of the step. They don't know what the fuck he's trying to tell him. Yes! He's a good boy. There. Alright, now we go on to the escape. So now I'm going to add in a command. I'll just say come. Yeah, but I'll hit the button before. Yeah, I'll hit the button. Come! Yes! Good boy! Nice and old guy. Very cool. Okay, so might seem a little unfair if you think of the stem as like a like a punisher, but that's what we're trying to avoid is conditioning in as a, a punisher. It, it is multiple meanings, okay? That comes later. Here nobody. So now I'm just gonna use it tap in continuous mode, lower level, three. Okay, because he's gonna feel a little bit more. Just gonna do 180s, I'll either back up or I'll pivot.
Alright, now we'll just click tree, click tree. Turn it down to four. Does that five? Went from three, work my way up to five here. Yes. Now, good job he did. Um, watch the dog, observe the reaction. Too little is very too much at this stage. So, a few sessions, it's determined the dog's working level. He might not be feeling it here, but I, I he looks like he's reacting properly to me. Um, most important part of this, probably, I think the most effective is doing those 180s, backing up or pivoting. You know, you send it and just automatically hit it. Tap, tap, tap. This would be a better demo with the sound box, but I don't have one. You did a great job, though. Good job, buddy. Easy on the dog.